The number one secret that we learned to take us from selling, you know, around like 20 houses a year to more than a house a week, even during a pandemic, during a maternity leave, during all the things that have been going on the last couple of years, wasn't necessarily just having more lead generation. It was switching from lead generation to lead attraction. And here's why that matters. And I wanna share Facebook leads as an example, right? Because a lot of times whenever I hear real estate agents coming to me asking for help, they say, I don't know, I feel like I need to try some new lead generation strategies. I've been thinking about trying some Facebook ads, putting some stuff up. I mean, I know you can get contacts that way. The challenge with something like Facebook ads, for example, is that as soon as you stop running that ad, you stop generating leads. And if you're not still doing the things that you need to be doing in an attraction-based real estate business, like nurturing those clients, growing the skills that you need to actually convert them well over a long period of time, because Facebook leads on average take over 600 days to maturate, which means 600 days from when you meet them to when they ultimately close. I mean, there, there are so many different skills that go into it. If you're not focusing on those other skills and the leads stop, your business stops. And further, even if you do really well on Facebook leads, for example, like you, you have a couple closings, you start getting some listings. What happens is you start getting busy with these deals and get busy with these clients and then your business tanks 90 days later because you don't have the right systems in place to help maintain that lead conversion over time. The other thing that's happening, that's on the front end. The other challenge that's happening is actually on the back end, right? So my question for you is if you have found really good lead generation strategies that kind of feel a little lucky, that get you a great deal here or there, what are you doing on the back end to take that first deal and turn it into five? right like do you know the lifetime value of each client because for me my lifetime value for each client is over six figures when we do it well <laughs> because we get that client's repeat business years down the line and we get all of their referrals starting from the moment we get to start working with them it's not uncommon for us to begin getting referrals from current clients who might not even be in the pending stage with their purchase or sale yet and all of that has to do with the way that we are speaking to our clients, the way that we're providing value, the way that we're showing up and explaining exactly what we do beyond just like opening doors and putting a sign in the yard. And so those were the things that made us more money than we'd ever made before, um, even after years in real estate. Those were the activities that took us from just kind of flying by the seat of our pants to consistently closing, getting on top producing lists, getting on the leaderboard in our brokerage and really growing an incredible business that did some important things for us. Not just like, we're not the fancy cars, big house, McMansion people. We're the, we wanna hang out with our son. We wanna grow our family. We wanna travel. We wanna have work-life balance and we want to get paid a lot of money <laughs> while we do that and and that it, big switch switching from lead generation to lead attraction is what did it for us thank you so much for watching this quick win series here on our youtube channel of course any resources or additional videos mentioned during this quick win are linked below in the caption so check that out and if you have not yet be sure to hit subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification icon to be notified every time we're dropping other quick wins just like this